the Piku combination of Sujit Sarkar and Amita Bachchan fails to take off in their second round with Gulabo Sitabo. Gulabo Sitabo, you would have thought, would make for very interesting viewing, considering that the credit titles include the likes of Amitabh Bachchan, Ayushman Kurana, and filmmaker Sujit Sarkar. For the uninitiated, Sujit Sarkar has had some wonderful films to his credit, Piku, October, Wikidona, Madras Cafe. He's also produced uh, Pink. So you've had somebody who brings in some very interesting cinema on the plate. Amitabh hardly needs to be spoken about as a great actor. So is it with Ayushman Kurana. So this combination, notwithstanding that they move on to the OTT platform, would make for interesting viewing is what anybody's guess would have been. Unfortunately, it's, in a, it's a back to back disappointment. If last week Anurag Kashyap choked us with Paisa Bolta Hai and came up with a very disappointing film, this time around it's Sujit Sarkar who comes up with a reasonably disappointing film, though. I think it had enough opportunity, like so many good films do, to have made it as a very good film. Here, Sujit does not even make a good film out of a story screenplay that is given to him by Juhi Chaturvedi. A word or two about Juhi's script. Uh, I think both in the dialogue area and with the screenplay, I think uh, part of the blame should go, or a good part of the blame should go to Juhi because the script meanders. It doesn't take you through a directive or a narrative that is worth listening to or following. I have a problem with filmmakers who spend too much of their time in establishing characters rather than dealing with them and moving on with the narrative, unless of course the film is where the narrative itself is the character, which is not so with the present film on hand. So Sujit Sarkar probably has a half-baked piece of bread as he goes on to shoot the likes of Amitabh Bachchan and Ayushman Kurana. Interestingly, the film has a very interesting performance coming from Farooq Jafar as the wife of Amitabh Bachchan. A lady who is said to be 15 years older than Amitabh Bachchan, who himself is an octogenarian in the film. The story takes us to this place in Lucknow, an old, diapolated, huge building, said to be in the name of Begum. And the tenants of the premises include Banke, played by Ayushman Kurana, who has a mother and three sisters. There is a constant bickering between the landlord represented by Mirza, that is uh, Amitabh Bachchan, and the tenant, that's Banke Ayushman Kurana. The bickering is not very serious. It is lacking in both punch and in content. It's about not having a proper toilet or something as not paying the rent or his cycle uh, bell disappearing or charging for a mobile in the premises. Very, very unimportant factors that build or really don't build the divide between the two principal characters. Amitabh is shown as a man who is always counting his coins, a miser to the core. He's inherited the wealth of his wife and is hoping that the lady who is about 15 years older than him dies and leaves her will for him. He also is threatening his tenants to vacate the premises. This is the, roughly the premise on which the story develops. I will not take you further through the story. There is a very interesting scene at the end of the film where you notice 
like in the beginning of the film where Amitabh Bachchan and there is a puppeteer who has these two characters Gulabo and Sitabo telling the story. As he's walking back at the end of the film, he carries a small balloon in his hand, very symbolic of soaring dreams, hot air, tied together with a thin string. If this is what the filmmaker was trying to tell us, Sarkar, you have failed us. I think there is an unquantified degree of morbidity in the film. At a time when there is enough and more of it outside, it also sinks so much with the mood of the day that you say, oh my God, not something again. Yet, Sujit Sarkar, you expect something punch filled. There's not a punch in the entire film. Seconds within the film, I told myself, here's Amitabh Bachchan hamming himself to the high heavens. I kept myself and my opinion open to the belief that maybe that's how he introduces himself as a character, establishes the chord, and then moves on to building up a character. Amitabh fails to do that. Sarkar fails to create it. As a result of which, you find Amitabh Bachchan really over the top, almost hamming his way through. Interesting performances come from Vijayendra Kala as the lawyer and from Vijay Raj as the archaeologist. It is these two characters who really keep the story going. Ayushman Kurana. I think the law of averages is catching up with him. I've always believed that what made Ayushman a much better film persona than many of his contemporaries like uh, Rajkumar Rao was his understanding of a script, his sense of a script. Did the script fail him? Did he fail to read it properly? Or was he in awe? Did he make the same mistake that Rajkumar Rao did? Remember Rajkumar Rao accepted a film just because he had screenplays with Aishwarya Rai Bachchan and the film bombed. So did his performance in the film. Did Ayushman do the same just to find that magical screen space with Big B? If he did, he has enough reasons to curse himself because this film does not do his repute as somebody who understands the script very well. I think the film, Gulabo Sitabo, even as a puppet story, is a puppetry, comes nowhere near Jaham Mejati Hoon Vaheen Chali Aate Ho, puppet show in Raj Kapoor's Chori Chori. As a man, a, an octogenarian, almost giving up and being exploited, who else can you think of? But Mrs. Stoneham, remember the great film of Aparna Sen, 36 Chaurangilin? That's the kind of empathy you would want the octogenarian to build for himself. On the other hand, I think he's overboard. Amitabh fails to connect. Ayush tries to balance. Three character actors try to balance the story. And you say, thank you very much. I'd rather not see this for the second time. I would say back to back, two good directors, Anurag Kashyap and now Sujit Sarkar, get your act together or film viewers will say the medium on which you are showing your latest is making the difference. Goodbye. See you again.